All right, I'm back. So about a week ago, I made a video talking about Mass Effect Legendary Edition and how I thought after reading some stuff online and watching an IGN preview, it didn't sound great. It sounded like it could be good. It sounded like it could be bad. And I thought the people who walked out of that preview felt very underwhelmed by it, which left me pretty cautious about what was going on with Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So I made that video and a lot of people liked it and a lot of people didn't like it. And that's to be expected. I mean, let's be fair. I'm saying a video game that I have not played, you have not played, doesn't look good to me. It's purely subjective. I know some people think you would make something like that just to piss people off, but it's a real opinion I had about a video game and I wanted to talk about it. And I had a lot of really good conversations in that video from people who watched it. I also had a lot of nonsense conversations, people who think I'm fake or is trolling or just being a hater. But I want to try to explain to you where I land with what I've seen from the Mass Effect Legendary Edition and why I think it's fine to be excited for it and it's fine to be cautious. First, let me say I love Mass Effect. I love the trilogy. I think Mass Effect 2 is one of the best games I've ever played. But just because you love something doesn't mean you can't recognize where it is currently and where it was then. I think a good way for me personally to look at this is through the lens of Star Wars really quick. Which uh, Interesting, another sci-fi thing. <laughs> I just love spaceships, guys. I love Star Wars but I don't love all Star Wars. And I've been given reason to be cautious when it comes to Star Wars. Every time I hear the music and that crawl hits, I almost well up. It has a, it has a part of me. I love Star Wars, but I've seen a lot of Star Wars in my life that I have not loved. I was cautious about The Mandalorian because I just, I left the most recent trilogy not that excited about the state of Star Wars. And then I had friends tell me, Mando is so good, you gotta watch it. And by the end of Mandalorian, I was like, I love Star Wars again, oh my God. And the truth is, I love that universe and I love what they've created, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna love everything that comes out of it. How is this related to Mass Effect? Well, the company who's currently working on Mass Effect and Dragon Age, by the way, I love that people say, I'm just being a hater and stuff. I have Bioware pictures on my wall. I have Dragon Age images all over and RPG stuff. Yeah, I, I hate I hate video games. The people who are working on Mass Effect Legendary Edition are not the people who made Mass Effect and made the trilogy. Yes, there are some people still at Bioware, but Bioware is a completely different company than what they used to be. You have to recognize that. That's okay. They can make a great video game. I want them to. Look at my wall. I want Dragon Age 4 to be good. Their recent track record with a Mass Effect entry with Anthem is very, very, very bad. It's very bad. Their company is in a very bad state. I think they are a shell of their former selves. They almost have to find a completely new identity. So now back to Mass Effect. They're working on it. So they are either going to screw it up, possible. I'm not saying it's definite, possible they're gonna screw it up. They're going to do very little. And maybe that is honestly one of the best things they could do. Let's be fair here because I don't want them to screw it up. Or they're gonna hit it out of the park. I definitely want them to knock it out of the park. That's a baseball term, by the way, for people who, <laughs> I don't even play baseball, but I played t-ball. Okay, I hope this game is amazing. I hope they knock it out of the park. But given their recent track record, I am very cautious about this video game. And I don't think that's an unreasonable place to be. Let me talk about some of the criticism the video received and hopefully I can address it in a way that will make you understand where I'm actually coming from and that I'm not just trying to make some video bashing Mass Effect so that you click on it. I don't need people clicking on my videos that don't want to stick around. I want to make content, not just that's fan service, but that people can respect and like. So let me talk about some of the criticism 
One piece of criticism is that I'm whiny. I'm sorry, I can't change that. If you think I'm just whiny and annoying, I mean, this is just the kind of dude I am, so sorry. Another piece of criticism is that this is a remaster. It's a remaster. What did you expect? It's just a remaster. What did you expect? Hey, it's a remaster. I'm not expecting much. This was said a lot in my comments, and I'll talk about that more in a second. Another criticism I received is, I said that this was a quick cash grab. I very much believe it is a quick cash grab. I hope it's not. I'm gonna keep saying it. I hope it's not, but that doesn't mean I can't look at this product and think, oh boy, I think they're pushing this out the door real quick to make some money so that they can keep their studio afloat and make the balance sheets look good in time for Dragon Age and then hopefully the next Mass Effect. I don't think that's an unreasonable thought process. Some people have said that they don't think it's a cash grab because they find value in what they're selling. That doesn't mean it's not a cash grab. And I did say that they were charging full price for this old game. That's true. Some people have said, hey, it's three games with all this DLC. I'm not gonna argue with you about the value of this product. Here's the thing, listen, please listen to me. If it's great, it's worth more than $60. If it's bad, it's worth nothing. It's worse than nothing if it's bad, okay? I know a lot of people love Mass Effect, but I think I think some people are in a weird headspace when it comes to this thing because we are buying a product from them. The onus is on them to make it great, to make something great for us. It's not on us to love it regardless, defend it regardless. They should make a great game for us. We should not accept something that isn't great. And again, I don't know. It could be great. I want it to be great. I feel like I have to say this a lot because if, you're, if I criticize Mass Effect, all of a sudden I want to destroy it. No, I don't. I want it to be a good video game. And from the stuff I've seen, I don't know if that's what they are making. I don't. We haven't seen much. They gave IGN a hands-off demo and the game comes out in two months. I guess my big thought with that is, I don't know why some people think that they're doing us a favor by making this game. We're paying the money for a game. It's fine to want that game to be good. It's not weird. All right, let me talk about the final, let me talk about the final criticism that this is a remaster. What did you expect? It's a remaster. I think some people are saying that as an offhand defense of not putting a lot of time and effort and love and work into a video game. It's a remaster. They don't have to do the work. Now, I guess in that sense, I'm being a little straw manny for their argument, I guess. But my thought is there are good remasters, there are bad remasters. More things lately that are great are moving into the remake category. And obviously, I wholly support right now the remake category because it's amazing. Final Fantasy VII Remake and Resident Evil, the things that are happening with remakes right now are incredible. There are good remasters and bad remasters. For every Shadow of the Colossus, a really good remaster, there is a Silent Hill, a very bad remaster. For every remaster sort of remake like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, there was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD, which was very, very bad. Even amazing companies like Blizzard put out this most recent Warcraft 3 Reforged, and it's a disaster. Just because something is a remaster doesn't mean they can't ruin it. It happens all the time. So I guess I have two thoughts coming from that. My first thought is, just because it's a remaster doesn't mean it's gonna be good, doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. There's really no indication. It goes all over the place. Some come out and are bad, like Halo Master Chief Co Collection, and then get very good, like Halo Master Chief Collection. So it's unclear whether a remaster is going to be good or bad. One thing that I would say for certain is that if we say that a remaster has inherently low expectations. So you can't be upset if the product is good or bad, or you can't be upset if they don't put a lot of work in. I think we're putting ourselves as gamers, gaming enthusiasts, I know gamers is a bad word. We're putting ourselves in a bad position because we have said we accept 
that some of these won't be good and some of these won't have a lot of work put in. And I don't think that's a good mentality to have around this. I really think people need to remember we're paying them money. We, we can be fans of their products. Look, I mean, look, I have a Secret of Mana poster right here. The Secret of Mana remake was bad. I love Secret of Mana. Just because I love Secret of Mana doesn't mean I need to pay them money for a bad remake. Is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition going to be good? I don't know. I haven't played it. I haven't sat in a room and watched them demo it. I hope it's good. I really do. And we will see. But I don't think blind allegiance to a company who repeatedly has shown they cannot handle the projects they have is a good way to be. Right now, I'm cautious about Mass Effect Legendary Edition and a lot of remakes and remasters. However, when they come out and people say they're amazing, I'm fully there, fully there. I want the next Dragon Age to crush. I want the next Mass Effect to crush. I want these things to be great. But it doesn't mean that I have to blindly support them without any critical thought as to whether or not this is going to be a good product. I hope this video makes my opinions from my last video a little more clear and it helps people understand where I'm personally coming from when it comes to games and it comes to what these companies are doing. I'm very much on the side of us, the consumers. I want these companies to make money. I think that's great. I also don't want them to put out bad products and have us blindly defend them because we loved Mass Effect. I remember what it was like playing Mass Effect 2. I remember what it was like, I'm not even going to spoil anything, but I remember what it was like in the end of Mass Effect 2, and it was a nail biter. But that doesn't mean that they deserve more money from me right now, unless the product's really good. There you have it. There's my video. I hope some of that made sense, and it wasn't too rambly, and it wasn't too whiny for you. I'll see you next time. Mwah!